trying to see relation concept in discrete mathematics. So before understanding the relation definition, let us understand what do you mean by the Cartesian product. Let A and B are the two non-empty sets. We define Cartesian product as A cross B, where A cross B is a relation pair A comma B, where the small a is the element from set A and the small b is the element from set B. So let us understand it by an example. Suppose set A contains three elements 1, 2, 3 and set B contains three elements again A comma B comma C. So Cartesian product over these two sets is written as A cross B is the all possible pairs which are possible from A to B. So it is a relation pair A comma B. So we should write the pairs like 1A, 1B, 1C, then 2A, 2B, 2C, then 3A, 3B, 3C. As it is A cross B, so I should take the pairs, possible pairs from set A to set B. So I can write the pairs like 1 comma A, 1 comma B, 1 comma C, then 2 comma A, 2 comma B, 2 comma C, then 3 comma A, 3 comma B, 3 comma C. Now, we know what is Cartesian product A cross B. So, let us define the relation. So, if, if A and B are the two sets are two sets then every subset every subset of A cross B is called is called relation from set A to set B. So it is important. So if I given the two sets, we can define the Cartesian product, which is defined this way. Okay. So if we have two sets A and B, we can write the Cartesian product as A cross B and all our uh, relation is defined as a subset of A cross B. And relation is defined as subset of this A cross B is called an relation which is defined from set A to set B. So if I want to write a relation which is defined from set A to set B, I can write as usually the relation is denoted by the capital R. So one subset of this A cross B, one subset of A cross B, I can write as like 1 comma A, 1 comma B, then 2 comma A, and let us say 3 comma C. So this is one subset of, of this A cross B. So I can call this as an relation, right? Relation which is defined from set A to set B. So often this concept of relation is very much used in the databases to understand relationships among the variables. So for example, in real world example, we can have like if set A contains student name, student 1, student 2, student 3 and set B contains the marks obtained by them. 
or the grid 7.9 8 9.3 okay so i can have an relation r as in pairs like student 1 and his grade student 2 and his grade student 3 and his grade so we can define relation like student and his mark student and his mark or student and his marks or grade so this is the relation next concept to understand is a representation of relation a representation of relation how we can represent this relation let us understand it by an example suppose we have a set a which contains three elements one two three and relation is defined from set a to set a set a to set a as capital r which contains pair 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 2 so how we can represent this relation so there are three ways to represent the relation very first way is tabular form tabular form so how we can represent the relation in tabular form so we can have table as my set contains three elements i can write them like this so i, I can take three columns and three rows because i have three elements in the set So if relation is defined from set A to set B and both the set contains a uh, different number of elements then set first set you can take in here at this place and second set elements you can take here okay now uh, for this example uh, relation is defined from set A to set A itself so set A contains three elements and all these three elements I need to take at this place and horizontal place as well so if you have set A contains uh, three elements and set B contains four elements then you can take set A elements vertically and set B elements horizontally. Why? Because usually we read relation from row to column. Okay. Now how we can represent this relation R in tabular form. The first pairing relation is 1 comma 2 means 1 is related to 2. 1 is related to 2 I can tick mark in the table next is one is related to three I can tick mark one is related to three it is read as two comma three so two is related to three you should read this way right and last pair is three comma two means three is related to two three is related to two three is related to two so here I should tick mark okay so you should read like row to column second way to represent the relation is the matrix form so you can have a matrix the set a elements you can take 1 2 3 then here 1 2 3 again same way set a elements here set b elements here doesn't matter what are the number of elements now uh, how we can represent this relation in matrix form take the first pair one is related to two one is related to two so wherever it's relation i should write one next pair is one comma three means one is related to three so one is related to three i should write one next pair is two is related to three two is related to three i should write one last pair is three is related to two three is related to two i should write one here rest of the places you should write as zero so this is matrix representation of the relation which is very commonly used in the relation so you all need to remember this because in uh, studying further chapters uh, further topics 
you need to recall this matrix form of relation and third way of representing relation is graphical form graphical form so in graphical form how we can represent this relation so the, as you know this relation uh, is defined from set a to set a so i should take set a elements in the first column like one two three and set b elements my set b is set a itself so uh, set b elements are also one two three so if your second set set b contains uh, five or six elements then you should list one two three four five what or whatever are the elements okay now represent how we can represent this in graphical form after listing a element and set b element so see the first pair in the relation one is related to two so one is related to two then one is related to three so this one is also related to three then two is related to three two is related to three then 3 is related to 2, 3 is related to 2. So this way you can represent the relation in graphical form.